holy and majestic are you, O God. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Can we stand for the reading of the word? Hallelujah. 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 I'm coming out of Ephesians 4, starting from verse 9. Now that he ascended, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens, that he might fill all things. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come into, in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. I have read Ephesians 4, 9 through 13. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise the Lord in this place today. We bless you, oh God. I don't know about you all, but I can just lay out in the floor about now. Yes. Hallelujah. We bless your name, oh God. We glorify you this morning, oh God. We lift your name on high this morning. We're going to have our welcome and our occasion by none other than Prophetess Sanders. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 We are welcomed in this place. First of all, we welcome the Holy Spirit, which is already visiting with us. So if you would lift your hands and you would honor him today. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 Some of you have not even put a praise on your lips. And he woke you up this morning and he blessed you to get into the sanctuary. We're here for a different reason, but you got to honor him in his place, in his house. Hallelujah. So we welcome you. We welcome you to raise your hands. We welcome you to cry out and say hallelujah. We welcome you on this day. So today we are here to honor. We're here to honor God. We're here to make sure that we're following his precepts and the things that he has called us to do. So in the book of Leviticus, they went into telling them how to come into the house and bring their garments, bring the oil, Bring the vessels, bring all of the things, yes. the wrappings that they need, guard them up, yes. he said. So our apostle has been a Moses. He has said, now we bring this young lady, we bring this prophetess to God yes. and have her yes. operate yes. in yes. the calling that she has yes. been called to yes. do. Yes. So today we're here. Yes. We're here to honor him in all that we do. We're here to honor him according to his word. Yeah. Amen? Amen. 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 So that is our occasion. We're blessed to be here. We're blessed for our apostle. Yeah. We're blessed for our prophetess. We're blessed for our pastor. And we're blessed that you are here with us. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 We're going to switch up a little different here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, we just bless your name, God. We honor you, God. We glorify you, God. It took the word to save us, and it's going to take the word to keep us. The word of God tells us, and God's word doesn't lie, that his word is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. And I don't know about you all, but I'm hungry this morning for the word. I'm hungry for what God has to say in our midst this morning. We've had such a move of God in this place since 9.30 this morning. And God is still moving and hadn't stopped yet. So we're just honored that God is visiting us because, see, the Holy Spirit does, just, does not come just to be coming. The atmosphere must be set. <laughs> and the atmosphere been set this morning. Amen. So we're going to have none other than our very own Apostle Manny Wooten to come and give us the word for today in the house. Give the Lord a hand and stand on your feet as he come in honor of him. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Y'all may be seated. Bring 
for what God has already done in the heavens. See, the prophet had already been ordained in the heavens by God. But government say that it must be done on earth. Official for their official. Uh, God has already done it. See, you can be official with something that God does not approve of. Ah, let me say that again. You got a lot of official things that has been done that God ain't got nothing to do with it. But I believe that God and the angels that are here today have approved this before the foundation of the world. See, she got off track. You know how it is. We got to do us. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I believe that she was called and anointed before she was even conceived. I believe that God had an assignment for her. And I believe today is the day that she is officially, officially locked, locked, launched into. Launched into the atmosphere of what God is going to do. She's a very unique different from a lot of prophets. <laughs> and I'll get into that now as I go. But Father God, in the name of Jesus, as I come, yield it before you to do what you have already ordained, to honor you and to worship you because you are worthy. You are worthy. Let your glory, let your glory, let your glory fall upon this woman of God. Mm. Let her be a light for you, that people will see you in her and glorify you in the name of Jesus, that they will honor you because of her walk in you in the name of Jesus. Father, we adore you, we honor you, we worship you, we give you the glory, we give you the honor, we give you the highest praise, which is hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you for your glory. Thank you for your glory in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. If I'm not mistaken, in the book of John, it says that, John 15, he said, you did not choose me. But I chose you, but not only did I choose you, I appoint you. See, we talk about many are called, but few are chosen. But then when, when, when we get to the chosen, are you really appointed? See, chosen goes back to the word appointed. Hallelujah. Can I talk to you this morning just a little bit? You know, you know me, I'm an obey God, but you can agree with me, you don't have to. <laughs> the subject today is chosen and appointed by God. Mm. We use John, but we're going to the book of Judges. Go with me to the book of Judges 4 and 8. We're going to deal with that as a foundational scripture. Mm. Mm. And we're going to talk about, out of all of these men, God chose a prophet, a prophetess, as we want to say, in the atmosphere, by the name of Deborah. Out of all of these men, our Heavenly Father, the great I Am, Jehovah Jireh, the provider, chose a woman. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. He chose a woman. To rescue a nation that had been subdued by Canaanites again. He chose to raise up a woman. And he raised her up by the name of Deborah. <laughs> and in the Hebrew, the word Deborah means be. 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 In the book of Deuteronomy, it talks about a swarm of bees descending. Be. What a befitting word for a woman of God. Be. 
can be sweeter than a honeycomb. <laughs> but sting. <laughs> but sting. <laughs> and put enough stains on you to take you out of here. Have you ever noticed about a bee? It talks about rare set of bee. I don't think you even hear about the king bee. But it talks about the queen bee. And when the queen bee moves, the swarm follows the queen bee. <laughs> Isn't God awesome? <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God chooses a woman and calls her a prophet. <laughs> oh, Jesus, help me. <laughs> Let me go on and talk to you about this. Yes, woman of God, I want you to know that God chose you from the before the foundation of the world. That means he already knew that Vicky would be born. And he already said to himself, I have a call on her life. I'm birthing her for my glory. I'm birthing her because I choose to use her. But the enemy says, no. I'm going to sidetrack you. But thank God you listen to the voice of the great I am and allow him to separate you. Sometimes God got to send you afar off. And family, this is not a negative statement, but sometimes God has to send a person to get away from family for them to hear him. Let me say that again. Sometimes, and this is not just for the woman of God, but sometimes God has to get you away from family to get you to hear him. Because everything family say is familiar. I'm trying to get that God is changing as I'm going. Deborah is one of the most influential women, influential women in the Bible. As a prophetess, but not only as a prophet, but as a judge. Yeah. See, she had a twofold. She was a prophet and she was a judge. Yeah. Hallelujah. And you know what a judge can do. <laughs> Deborah was said to hear God's voice and share God's word with others. She did not offer sacrifices. She did not sacrifice anyone. She did not offer sacrifices. Um, but I want you to get, but she did lead praise, praise and worship. Mm -hmm. And she did preach. Mm -hmm. uh, she did not offer sacrifices that the men did. But she did lead praise and worship. Mm -hmm. And she did preach. <laughs> Just as the bee follows their leader in a swarm, the Jewish people followed the sage for the prophet to teach them. As the bee follows the swarm, when the queen bee takes off, the bees take off. And wherever the queen bee goes, the bees form. And they form a sweet honeycomb. And if you invade that honeycomb, you may get stung. Not by just one, but by thousands. And as the woman of God in the Hebrew bee, she may not sting you, but the anointed will. I'm going to take my time on this. You know, sometimes I normally get happy. As the bees sting, it is quite painful. <laughs> but the honey, it is incredibly sweet. God's word will sting those who do not follow his commands. <laughs> but will, he will bless those who live righteously with a sweet life. God's word will sting those 
who does not follow his command. But he will bless those who righteously seek him. What are you saying, Apostle? There's some people that's listening to me that's here right now. You are not in the will of God. Bees are a lonely insect. The prophets will be lonely. Probably you will be a lonely person in the world. But in the heavens, you have backup a legion of angels. But here, if you follow the word of God, you will walk in a lonely place because they don't want to hear the truth. If you're prophesying houses and land, if you sow $1,500 into me, the Lord is going to bless you with 50000 You'll get plenty of following. You'll get plenty of hallelujahs and jumping and shouting. But you will be wrong under the anointing of God. Never use this platform to satisfy people. Use this platform to obey God and be the voice of God. Somebody needs to hear your voice. Somebody, is, your life is about to be saved because of your ordination this day. You're going to save somebody's life because of what you say. You're going to warn somebody because of what you say. If you obey the voice of God, Amen. they've been waiting on this moment for you. The only voice that can cause them to change is yours through the voice of God. Devil was one of the rulers of the Hebrew and the only female ruler. Isn't it awesome? Mm. All of these judges and prophets, Gideon, and, you know, they were formal, and all of these, all of these judges, but God chooses. Okay, all of these commanders, God chooses. Give me, you got judges four and eight. I want you to start at the seventh verse. You'll find out that Cicero was killed by a woman. He didn't send a man to take out, take him out. He sent a woman to take him out. Go ahead, you got four? Go ahead. And I will draw unto thee to mm -hmm. the river Kishon. Cicero, the mm -hmm. captain of Jabin's army, with his chariots and his multitude, and I will deliver him into thine hand. Hmm. Cicero. You got some Ciceros around you. But what God said, I will deliver them into your hand. And I will give you instructions in what to do with them. Go ahead. Go ahead. And Barak said unto her, If thou wilt go with me, then I will go. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Here's a man. We're right. Huh? I made her. Huh? If you go with me, then I'll, I'll go. Oh, wait a minute. I'm a man. Well, you need a woman to go with you for. Hello. Read that again. And Barak said unto her, uh -huh. If thou wilt go with me, then I will go. Well, Deborah, if you go with me, I'll go, but go ahead. But if thou wilt not go with me, then I will not go. If you ain't going, I ain't going. I don't care what the devil do to him. If you don't go with me, I ain't going. Because I know if you go, the authority comes with you. The power and the angels of God is coming with you. But if I go out there on my own, I'm going to get killed. And I'm not ready to die. So devil, come go with me. Come walk with me. Your presence will destroy the presence.
I'm the enemy. Yes, yes, yes. Go ahead, go ahead. I don't want to get excited. I don't want to get excited. And she said, I will surely go with thee. Go ahead, go ahead. Notwithstanding, the journey that thou takest shall not be for thine honor, but the Lord shall sell Sisera. Uh, uh, see, here's the problem. I'm going, but it ain't going to be for your honor. Mm -hmm. See, the problem is a lot of times we go, but we're looking for God's glory. We go and we say, God has done this, but God didn't send nobody with us. We go on our own. But Jephthah said, here's my condition. I'll go, but it's not for your glory. It's not for your honor. But I'm going with you. Go ahead. For the Lord shall sell Sisera into the, into the hand of a woman. <laughs> this Old Testament now, this is a lot. That's why Jesus said, I didn't come to change it. I came to fulfill it. But see, we got a, we got a tendency of going on talking about what Paul said. Women, women be silent. Women cover your head. Women do that. That's not what that scripture means. You say, well, great. we're in the grace now. It's changed. Jesus, go back and see what Jesus said. Jesus said, I didn't come to change it, but I came to fulfill the law. God said, I'm a God, and I change not. Whatever I commanded in the Old Testament shall be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Jesus had to come and fulfill the law. Yeah, yeah. Because today, God said, you was devil, the mouthpiece. Mm. For God that shall deliver the enemy, sister into the hands of a woman. That's why I got a problem with traditional preaching. Religion is going to call you to go to hell because you refuse, you, you refuse to trust God. You're caught up in tradition. But tradition shouldn't have been back in then because even before we even started church, God used Deborah. <laughs> ah, ah. She, oh yeah, keep that right there. I'm coming back. She and Barak saved Israel from the Canaanites, who had subdued, who had been subdued by Joshua. Remember, Joshua subdued the Canaanites, mm -hmm. but over a period of time, the Canaanite came back in power. And God had to raise up. He didn't raise up brother so-and-so, uh, 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 a prophet so-and-so. He raised up a judge, a prophet called Deborah, to deliver them out of the hand of a Canaanite again. Okay? But after Joshua, but they had become powerful again. And, with, and they had chariots of iron, and they were grinding out the, the life of Israel. Remember, they had chariots of iron, and they were taking the life out of Israel. And God said, I got to do something. And he takes Deborah. Well, let me go here. The Sisera, the commander of the Canaanites, met his death at the hands of a woman. You know what the word be means? I'm going to give you another definition. You, you know me, I like to go to different translations. I love when I'm studying, I get about, I go to translations after translations after meaning, and I love Latin. And I love Arabic, and I love Hebrew, and I love Greek. So, that I, but, so when I went to one of the translations, he said be. The torch, uh -huh. the lightning. <laughs> be the torch, the lightning. <laughs> the woman of Labadoc, which was, according to the word of God, her husband. <laughs> they were referring to the devil be as the fierce, the fiery, the woman of lightning. 
The woman that would, could speak a word. And God will back it up. See, here's the problem. You can speak a word, but does heaven back what you spoke? Amen. We need God to back up what we say. The problem is, is that the word of God has gone from what God intended it to be to be commercialized. I was watching... This social media is crazy. I was watching this prophet, and she was a female. And she told the woman who had already sold $800 into her. I want y'all to hear what I'm saying now. I want y'all to catch this. She had already sold $800 into her. But she said, the Lord said it's not enough. The Lord said for you to sow, if you want me to pray for you and you want to be delivered, the Lord said for you to give me $1,500. And the whole church jumped up and hollered, amen, amen, amen. God does not sell his word. His word comes out of obedience. <clears throat> We're getting some feedback here. You, in Judges 5, you'll find Deborah singing hymns unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. If we go over and we go to this to the fifth chapter, we'll find we'll find that that Deborah is singing songs and hymns unto the Lord. She's beginning to tell God, thank you for what He's done in number four. Mm -hmm. I thank you for your authority. I thank you for delivering my people. I thank you for using me. I thank you for trusting me. I thank you for believing in me. I just want to please you, Lord, so I give you glory and I give you honor. I give you praise because you are worthy. Because all of the deliverance, all of the glory is not my glory, but the glory comes to you, Lord. I refuse to take your glory. Let me get on over here. Deborah sought guidance from the Lord. How did she seek guidance from the Lord? By praying and meditating before any of her rulings. Deborah sought guidance from the Lord. It didn't say fasting, but I believe there was some fasting. Mm -hmm. But it said pray by praying mm -hmm. and meditating for guidance mm -hmm. from the Lord. Mm -hmm. Before I open my mouth to make this prophecy, I just proclaim your word, God. Mm -hmm. I need to pray. I need to meditate and I need to seek guidance from you because what I say may hurt somebody. Yes. What I say yes. may cause somebody to go before time. Yes. Yes. If you are already an ordained prophet, let me go back and, and, and reiterate something. You are God's mouthpiece. And what you say because the word prophet is behind your name, sometimes people will do things before time. And they do it before time because you gave them the word before time. Oh, they obey you. You said, the Lord told me to tell you he was going to bless you with a house. They go with an application. Get a house. You know, you, you know your interest rate 10%. You know God ain't in that. 
But somehow the enemy will make a way for you to get a house, and you said the Lord blessed you with a house, now you in bondage. When you did that, because the prophet said, the Lord said he was going to bless you with a house, but the prophet did not put a time on it. God is going to bless you with a house when you position yourself and you get in. Stop giving prophecy before time. Amen. All right. Amen. The word of God is to deliver the people not for your benefit. If mm. nobody pats you on the shoulder, as long as the heavens are rejoicing. I'm sick of all this prophecy. Yes, sir. Everybody prophesying. Mm. And God ain't called you. God didn't appoint you. God didn't anoint you. You anointed and appointed yourself. Mm. Oh. 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 Catch this. Deborah, upon receiving instruction from God, called Barak, an Israelite warrior, to bring 10,000 troops up to Mount Tobah. Uh -huh. Bring 10,000. Mm -hmm. So he brings 10,000. But then Barak goes back and says, if you go, I'll go. Uh -huh. You got 10,000 troops behind you, but why do you need one little woman behind you? Why you need a woman of God behind you if you got 10,000 troops? You got 10,000 troops, what are you afraid of? Mm -hmm. He had sense enough to know that if he went out there on his own, 10,000 troops didn't mean a thing. But he needed the authority of the woman of God. Yes, yes, yes. But you go out there on your own property. I don't care who go, who say I go with you. If God didn't tell you to go, don't you go. Because if God send you, angels will back you up. Yeah. Like this message today. God is backing me up. Right. I don't care what you think. Right. I want you to fret free right. from that foolishness. Mm. <laughs> it talks about and Deborah rose and went to Barak to Kadesh. Now, I'm going to tell you what Kadesh was. I'm going to show you how the enemy will get you in a place and mess you up. Mm -hmm. And if a true woman of God, a true man of God don't come get you, you ain't coming out. All right. <laughs> the word Kadesh meaning sanctuary. It was an original Canaanite royal city. Canaanite, I told y'all about, we taught on the Knights. We're not finished with that yet. But we taught on them Canaanites, them Havites, them Hittites. I'm telling you, these spirits were something else. And these spirits are coming back today as gods. And we are following gods. Small G O D S, not capital. There's no gods in capital. It's God. But in the little O G D, they can put S on the hat and it can become gods. We're following gods because it looked like God. It's easy for the enemy to camouflage. And make stuff look like. And Jesus showed you when he went up. After he had fasted 40 days. He went up to be tested. What did the enemy do? He showed him everything that Jesus already knew. Everything he showed Jesus looked good. Huh? Some of you young ladies. Right here today. God show you. A guy. The gods show you the guy. And you think the guy is sent by God. Young men, God, the God show you the female. Well, will she go to church? Or he go to church? The devil come to church. The devil beat me to church. The devil beat you to church. Okay, well, bless the Lord. They ain't going right there. <laughs> Guess what? Guess what? Right, now I'm gonna step on your toes. 
Some of God's people are late. But the devil ain't late. He be here early. Huh? I get here at 9.30, you already here. You show up at 10.30. Now, because you showed up late, we got to prime. We got to pray you out of the heaviness. Because the enemy has brought the heaviness to the door. And when you walk in, the heaviness drops on you. But if you would have been here on time, no heaviness would have came. Because you would have put, you would have covered this building under the blood. And the devil cannot come through the blood. He cannot come through the blood to get you. That's free. I didn't have that written down. Get uh, Deuteronomy 18 and 17. Deuteronomy 18 and 17. Uh-huh. And the Lord said unto me, mm -hmm. They have well spoken that which they have spoken. Mm -hmm. Okay, number 18. I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren, like unto thee, and will put my words in his mouth. Mm -hmm. I will raise up to thee a prophet, like unto thee, and I will put my word in your mouth. The Lord said, I will put my word in your mouth. The word that I put in your mouth already, people don't want to hear. Some of your friends, if you're sitting in here, this is not an offense, but this is the, this is the truth. If your family, if you're sitting in here, this is not an offense. Love your family member. Stay in unity. If you're watching on Facebook, this is not an offense, but this is the truth. And the truth says, set you free. The truth is, some of your family and friends do not want to hear what God has to say. They want to hear what the prophet has to say. You catch it? but not what God puts in the prophet's mouth. Because God has to say mm, mm, to somebody that you know, don't do it, or you will die. I just heard that just as clear. Somebody you know and I don't know if you know who it is, but God has to say through your mouth, don't do it. If you do, you will die. Don't want to hear that. Because according to people, God won't kill you. Yes, he will. He'll take you out. The devil is a liar. When God warns, he's trying to keep you from being hurt or from dying. I'm not an apostle that's going to preach that you will shout. For I will raise up from them a prophet like from among their brethren, and I will put my word in his mouth, and he shall speak them all the word that I command. Then God said, speak the word that I command. Not what you feel, but what I command. I know you feel like telling somebody something that will make them comfortable, but I want you to tell them so you can save their life. And whosoever will not listen, and whosoever will not listen to my words that come out of your mouth, that he 
shall speak in my name that you're going to speak in his name. <laughs> I myself will cry that he listened. <laughs> but the prophet who presumes to speak a word in my name that I have not commanded. That I have not commanded. You're prophesying in the name of the Lord what they want to hear. But God has not commanded it. Him to, who speaks in the name of other gods. That same prophet shall die. Mm -hmm. That same prophet who speaks in other gods. And that other god was what? In small g. Mm -hmm. Shall die. It is so dangerous to open your mouth and say that God is in it. And God is not in it. <laughs> I'm trying to make this stand. Go, go with me to Psalms, go to Psalms 118 and 12. I'm going to read that and I'm coming on down. around me in the name of the Lord and I cut them off. When they get into it, all nations surround me. All the people surround you looking for a word. But God say your word can't help and I cut them off. Mm. Ain't got nothing to do with you. I don't cut them off. <laughs> they surround me, surround me on every side. In the name of the Lord, I cut them off. They surround me, they surround me on every side. In my name, it ain't used the same. In them, I cut them off. <laughs> they surround me like bees. They went out like the fire among the throne, thorns. In the name of the Lord, I cut them off. I was pushed hard so that I was falling, but the Lord helped me. When he cut them off, here we go, one my God. I shall not die, but I shall live and recount the deeds of the Lord. The Lord has discipled me. I'm going to shoot down to the 19th verse. Open me the gates of righteousness that I may enter through them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter through it. Thank you that you have answered me and you have become my salvation mm -hmm. in the name of the Lord. Deborah, the prophet, the judge, the one that a father wouldn't have called, that no man called. P. 
people's lives will be saved because of this thing. Someone need a word of encouragement that they should live and not die. Somebody. We're in a time when we are under judgment. And when you're under judgment, let me say this to the young people. This is 2022. Judgment is already here. You think because you are young and vibrant that this don't pertain to you. You think that you got it all going, that my life has just begun. You think, mama did her thing, daddy did his thing, I'm going to do my thing. You don't have time. Amen. You don't have time. The Lord is coming like a thief in the night. And he's already prepared himself to come. No man knows the day. No man knows the hour. No man knows the time. But we do know that according to the word of God, he's coming back for a church without spot or rancor. Mm -hmm. And when he said coming back for a church, he's talking about you. Because the church is in you. Mm -hmm. Let me say this to you. People have been church hurt. Get rid of that word, I'm church hurt. Blame it on who hurt you. This building can't hurt nobody unless it falls in and we in it. Okay? So the building don't talk. The, bu the building doesn't go tell your secrets. The building don't go talk about you or stab you in the back. The building just sits here and waits for you to come. You have faith in this chair. Watch this. Watch this. This chair ain't going to fall. Bam. I ain't check it. I ain't nothing. I just flop down. Bam. But guess what? Guess what? God gave the knowledge to create that chair, but we don't have faith in him. Hmm. Huh? We get in the car. Vroom. Light turn red. Vroom. Light turn green. Vroom. We don't know if the guy coming down the road is going to stop, but we know his light is red, mine is green. I don't need to look. I'm going because my light is green. You don't know if he stopped. But the Holy Ghost will tell you, look both ways. Yes. Last week, I was going to work. I mean, I had to hammer down on my little white truck. I'm going to beat this like, you know, it's, a, it's got the little thing out the back. Everybody's like, bloop, 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 bloop. It's like, bloop. The Holy Ghost says, slow down, stop. I said, no, Lord, I got to beat this light. Holy Ghost says, stop. I mean, I got right up to it, hit it, boom. The guy behind me was blowing, bam, but he was just like me. I looked, and this big old truck comes right through the light. Here's a red, boom. If I had to listen to the voice of God, and if he hadn't spoke two or three times, that truck probably would have took me on down the power drive next door to post sales. My God. And I'd have been either seriously wounded or dead because I was trying to beat something that God told me, stop. I which could have died or could have been hurt. Obey God, not people. Because whatever you say, whether they agree or disagree, may save their life. And with that, 
I don't need to preach for two hours because the affirmation has already been done in the heavens. Come on, woman of God. Do I need to do this charge? Facebook, we're going to be with you for a little while longer. YouTube, we're going to be with you for a little while longer. Uh, wherever it's going, we're going to be with you for a little while longer. But then we're going to cut away because we don't know what God is going to do. And we're going to let God have his way. Amen. We're not going to take up no offering. Not right now. We'll do it at the end. So if you're here, we'll take an offering up at the end. If you want to stay and be a blessing, you can. If you don't, you don't have to. I don't pressure people for money. That's on you and God. Now, I told you I'm a unique, different type of man of God. I'm going to tell you the truth. Come on, come on, come on, come on, brother. What do I need to do? Mm -hmm. You see, I'm asking this prophet, what do I need to do? The man. Huh? What? I need to read the word. Hmm? Father God, we just thank you and we honor you, God. God, we glorify you because your word said to come to you and we come to you, God. God, we know because your word tells us, God, that you set man up and you take him down. And God, we also read in your word, oh God, to where you are well able to do exceedingly and abundantly and above all that we can ask or think. God, we thank you for this time, oh God. This time, oh God, that's been set aside in the earth. God, we know the stamp of approval have already been given in the heavens. And God, we're it's being manifested in the earth, God. So for that, we give you thanks, God. God, we thank you for this vessel, oh God. This vessel, oh God, that has laid her life down, oh God. To be a servant of yours, God. This vessel that have said, God, for God I live and for God I die. This vessel that have said, God, my life is not my own. God, I belong to you. God, we thank you for it today, God. God, we ask that you would cover her. God, we ask that you would keep her. And God, we ask, oh God, that you would speak through her, oh God. Strengthen her, oh God. Encourage her heart today, oh God. And God, we just bless you and we magnify you, God. God, we say thank you, God. We thank you, oh God, for finding us worthy, oh God, to participate, God, in something that you've approved, oh God. We don't take it for granted, God. We say thank you, God. We thank you, oh God, and we continue to move out the way today, oh God, that your kingdom may come and your will may be done, oh God. God, we bless you and we magnify you, God. God, we ask, oh God, that you will anoint our lips even the more, God. We thank you and we magnify you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. 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 Elder, give me two chairs. I'm going to shift copies because God told me to do something. Uh, I want your mother to come. And as you sit here, I want her to sit beside you. Without her, there will be no prophetess Nicholas. Amen. Amen.
As she come, mother, you play a part in it. You play a part in it. You are her intercessor. Nobody could pray for our children like we could pray for our children. God said the day that your assignment is to be her intercessor. Even the more. Your assignment has shifted from just the little, you know, the little prayers you've been praying for. God said, go deeper in your intercessor for her. Shift the prayers that you pray for her because of the assignment. Because of the assignment. Prophetess Vicki, I charge you today, therefore, before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who should judge the quick and the dead at the appearance of and his kingdom. Preach the word. Be instant in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exalt with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they, the time is already here, when they will not endure sound doctrine. But after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves, teachers having itch, itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto folly. But watch, but watch. <laughs> but watch. This is um, 2 Timothy 4, 2 Timothy 4, verses 1 through 4. Prophetess, I'm going to read a charge, and I want you to say, as a candidate, I will with the help of the Lord. Amen. You take your hands off for this time. I charge you to function as a prophet of God. I charge you to encourage ministry improvement and leadership that elevates and encourages the people of God and the body of Christ. I charge you to inspire the body of Christ for spiritual growth and personal improvement for the effectiveness and witnesses for Christ and his kingdom. I charge you to trust the I am that I am the supernatural God to direct you at all times. I charge you to function as an ambassador of God. Remember the words of the prophet Jeremiah in Isaiah. I knew you. Isaiah 1, 2, 2, Jeremiah 1 and 5. I knew you before I formed you in your mother's womb. I knew you. I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart and appoint you, my prophet, to a nation. I charge you to continue with your leadership in planning a well-balanced and kingdom business and training to the glory of his kingdom. I what? I will with the help of the Lord. To God be the glory. Have accepted the charge of God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're going to overwhelm the God for the prophets. Final. 
of removing the old and stepping into the new that God has called us to. That was a sign of God removing the old wine and the putting on of new wine. Because <laughs> you cannot pour, why would you pour new wine into old wine skin? So God would not pour his blood into the oldest, but into the newness of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. 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 Be patient with us. We're allowing Facebook to see this. Hallelujah. Be patient with us. YouTube to see this. We ain't been doing all the day where we run around the church and touching the ceiling and all that. Okay. You know, we operate in the authority of Jesus Christ. Don't you look good in red and white? Yeah. <laughs> Part of what we do here at Righteous Apostle um, put crosses. Operate in feeling, but I hear God say you operate in all three. I don't know, 
somebody after this day if they want deliverance they can get it but there's a snake in their belly look at me one of those you know someone that there's a snake in their belly and when you want, and when they want deliverance, and you touch them, all they have to do is run to the bathroom. And when they run to the bathroom, they're going to regurgitate. And when they regurgitate, all of that mess will come up out of them. But they can't live right, and they're trying to camouflage themselves because they have went to somebody, and somebody has red cards. Somebody has red cards over there. And whoever this woman was was a witch. And she put ancient spirits within them. But out of your mouth, they shall be delivered. I can call them out. Oh, I can tell you who it is. Right? You already know. If I release the apostolic oil. Thank <laughs> you. 
She got it. She'll never be the same. Who in here is from related to her? You? Okay. Who in here is her friend? Okay. I know you. Facebook, we thank you. We honor you. YouTube, we thank you. We thank you for the credit that you stuck with us. If you're still there, we thank you. We love you, and Jesus loves you. Nobody can love you like Jesus. And, then, and as I leave, I want you to catch this. Can't nobody do you like Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you. We'll see you next time.